Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Sorry if I sound a little nasally. I think I'm having like really bad allergies right now. So my husband gave me a Claritin. So let's see if it starts working any day now. So today we're going to be working my apps off for the month of April, you guys. This is from Ange Budget and Debt. Y'all, she is so awesome with all of these um different like cash back and reward apps i've been adding them on every time i see <laughs> that she has a new one but we're going to be following up with what i've been able to complete for april currently i had ibotta my target at maryfield and fetch i did get to see that she did receipt hog and so um i added receipt hog now i do just want to say i don't know why but every time i try to use her especially for maryfield and receipt hog um every time that i try to use her link for whatever reason um it wouldn't let me so i just had to download the app so and i apologize if you don't get any like actual credit but i did get these from you um so we're gonna start off with Ibotta. And so for the month of April, I made $2.10. Oh, I'm gonna have to take this out. Um, $2.10 um, for Ibotta this month, or yeah, for Ibotta in the month of April. Um, they didn't really have too much that I could get cash back from, so um, it wasn't a big month for me like it was last month in March or maybe even January. Um, next is going to be my Target app. And what's funny is, is as much as I did not go to Target for some odd reason, I made $4.13 from them. But I'm also thinking that I did do a huge bulk shop for Baby Girl in the month of April. And so maybe that's why it's a little bit more. But um, the Target app is just an app that you just download if you shop at Target. Every time you go and purchase something there, they give you 1% like cash back onto the app that you can only use at Target so you can't go and use it like elsewhere but it's great because i like to save it up i did this last year and saved it up and whenever i did my bulk purchase at the end of the year i was able to put that money towards um that amount so it is great and then they also have coupons on that app so if you know you're buying anything there and they have a coupon then you get to save money that way as well so really 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 love the target app and then you also can get gift cards back from them which i also use um for like my bulk shopping and stuff like that so target app is really great next is going to be maryfield so i started that back in march and i made about a dollar and five cents because i had 1050 and they're roughly almost around the same as fetch where like as when you get to a thousand that's like considered like a dollar so for this month because i love it y'all maryfield just literally lets you scan all of your apps and then there are more on the healthier side of things so if you buy any of the healthy products that they have you get 50 points for each um dollar that is spent on that healthy product so for april i got 3,018 points, which would equal out to $3.18 is what I'm thinking. But at the end of the year, y'all will really calculate exactly how much I did save. These are just estimates. Um, and that was because some of the foods that we've been buying, baby girl, we've been making sure that they're a little bit more healthy. And so I was able to reap some benefits there with Maryfield. Next is going to be Fetch. I know a lot of people know about Fetch. Um, and it's almost the same thing or pretty much the same thing as Maryfield. You just uh, scan all of the receipts that you've received and it will give you 25 points for each um, scan. Maryfield actually gives you 50 points per scan. And then with Fetch, each day you're able to do like a daily like bonus where you can play and you can get up to 5,000 points 
um, additional onto there. And then they also have different items on there that if you purchase those, you get extra points for them. So for Fetch, I got $30.96. And, ooh, sorry, y'all. This is killing me right now. And that came out to an estimate of $3.96. And then last is Receipt Hog. I used to have Receipt Hog way back in maybe like 2016. But in Texas, it wasn't really working that well. So I had took it off of my app. So actually, when I went back, I had to really just remember my password and stuff. So I didn't use it for the month of March. Like I said, I just started using it in April. I'm still trying to figure out their um, system in terms of points, but I have 455 points, which I think equals out to 45 cents because I think their numbers are like a little off. It's not as like straightforward as Fetch and Maryfield. So I'm gonna just go with 45 cents for right now. But these are all of the apps that I'm currently tracking right now, you guys. So once again, I got $2.10 in Ibotta, which is straight cash back that you can put into your PayPal or bank account. The Target app, like I said, is real cash, but you can only use it at Target. And you have a year from the time that you've gained those points to use them. So I just pretty much kind of use them towards the end of the year. Uh, next is going to be Maryfield. They let you cash this out with gift cards. And so that was 318. Same thing with Fetch gift cards. I had 396 this month. And then Receipt Hog. I have I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I'm pretty sure there are also gift cards as well, too. So we're gonna add these all up. So we have 210 plus four dollars and thirteen cents plus $3.18, plus $3.96, plus 45. And that gives me $13.82 that I saved this month from just pretty much buying stuff that I need. Like I did not need to go out my way to get anything. So that's $13.82 in income that I made from just grocery shopping and just shopping in general. And I am going to add the other months just to kind of see where I'm at. And y'all so far, I have $79.57. And if you guys don't know, all of this money that I'm saving is going towards Christmas. So technically, I'm going to be ending this in November <clears throat> or this work your apps off because I want to be able to start using cashing out those gift cards and using the money. So this is where I am, you guys. I actually really love this work your apps off. Once again, this was from Ange budget and debt but she did have a live it liz and less make the actual worksheet i'm not sure if it's still on her etsy shop or not but you guys should definitely um check it out if you're trying to find an easy way to save money for whatever whether it's for christmas saving up extra money for debt it's not a whole lot but it definitely adds up um and every little thing counts when you're trying to save if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and I will see you guys in the next one.